got coilovers in your car, you've probably installed them wrong. But it's not your fault. Manufacturers, even to this day, tell you to do it the wrong way. So visually, these two look very similar and they'll result in basically the same ride height. But one's going to handle amazing, the other one is going to handle like trash. It's going to destroy tyres, rub guards and potentially even cause you to crash. We set up coilovers all the time on our race cars but the same ideas can be applied to your daily drivers. People don't like to adjust via the spring perch because they think that preloading the spring is going to change the spring rate. Which is absolute nonsense for a linear rate spring which is what we usually see on adjustable coilovers like this rather than a progressive rate spring. The other issue you might be worried about is that the spring will become uncaptive at full droop, but that is exactly why we use helper springs. So the issue with doing ride height adjustments from the lower mount here is that you're negating the function of your bump stops. So what that means is that your wheel can hit the chassis before the bump stop engages. So basically you could damage the tyre, damage the bodywork, and it could potentially cause you to crash the car. You're also limiting the total amount of travel that you're using from your nice new coilovers. So what's the correct way of doing it? First we fit the coil over to the car without the spring installed or the bump stop. Then we refit the wheel and we cycle the suspension and steering through its full travel making sure nothing hits. If we have plenty of clearance then we can shorten the coil over or if we have contact then we need to extend the coil over and we make these adjustments from the bottom mount. If we make the coil over as short as possible while just maintaining some clearance between the tyres and the bodywork then when we reinstall the bump stop we can be sure that we're going to have have a safe setup. To be clear, this is how you find the minimum coilover length, which is great if you want to get the car as low as possible. While that might look awesome, it's not necessarily going to give the best performance. There's a ton of other factors that contribute to the optimal coilover length. If you want to learn how to find the best setup, we've got a ton of online courses to walk you through the whole process. We have a safe setup and our wheels won't rub, now's the fun part. We adjust the spring perch to set the ride height and get it just right. So if any of those problems sound familiar, go check your car and let us know how you get on.